Hello there, it is Jacinta, your counselor and transformational life coach, helping you achieve emotional freedom and live life on your terms. Now, this is Inspirational Monday, and in today's talk, I'm going to share with you a powerful and proven tip to beat worry. This tip is has been proven to disorient and disempower stress and worry. And this is in celebration of the Global Worry Free Day that was founded on March 1st, 2014. So this year, we shall be celebrating three years of the Global Worry Free Day. And the intention of the Global Worry Free Day is to spare at least one day in a year whereby we focus on gratitude. When we focus on making a change and giving back, when we focus on volunteering, when we focus on putting worry worry away in some sort of box or concubine, you know, putting it away completely and focusing on what we have and what we want. Because worrying is actually focusing on what you don't have or what's wrong. And if you're so focused on what you don't have, then you will never be able to see what you have. If you're so focused on what's dying, you will never see what's being born. If you're so focused on what you're losing, you will never see what you're gaining. So the Global Worry Free Day is the starting point. And actually, we are supposed to just maintain... uh, mentality of peace and gratitude all our lifetimes but because time is hard times are hard there is so much stress politics the environment the programming the negativity everywhere we look it's almost impossible not to worry you know it's become part of life but worrying has a lot of negative physical mental and healthy effect impact on us on our lives it retards our progress worry encroaches on our peace and our happiness and joy it's doing something but actually doesn't take it take us anywhere so here's the tip the tip is to understand that every time we get worried or every time we get bombarded by a challenge or obstacle that challenge or obstacle tends to kind of seem like it has more power than us, that it's more powerful than we are. You know, the thing is that misery loves company. So if you are experiencing a challenge, that challenge, the energy in the challenge will present itself as though it's more powerful than you are because it wants to stay because you've tapped into it, you've invested into it, and it actually wants to stay. Because like I said, misery loves company. Negativity loves company. It loves to exist. But the issue about that is this. The fact is that as long as you are experiencing something, you are the experiencer, and whatever you're experiencing, the subject is the experience. Now, let it break, let me break that down for you. If you're perceiving something, you you are the perceiver. And whatever is being perceived is the perceivee, the subject. Now, as long as we are not perceiving something, that thing does not exist in our mentality, in our mind. It doesn't exist in our existence. When we start perceiving things, this is when we bring them to life. However, if your focus is on something else, whatever should happen, you know, whatever else that you're not focusing on does not exist in your existence, in your experience. So the tip is to choose what you focus on. The tip is to remember that you as the perceiver of whatever challenge or obstacle you're experiencing is more powerful than the subject that you're experiencing. It's like choosing to cry over spilled milk now the milk or the fact the act of spilling the milk is weaker than you who has perceived your milk spilling so the moment you withdraw and disassociate yourself from the milk and the spilling and focus on how else you can get more milk or whatever is remaining in your refrigerator your refrigerator to get more milk or buy more milk organic milk or whatever else means that you're more powerful. You have power over 
the milk and the very act of spilling the milk. So this means that you, the perceiver, we, the perceivers of experiences, whatever, even if it's a challenge, an obstacle, you are, we are more powerful, more powerful than whatever is being perceived. So the good news is when we are worrying, we are focusing on something that stagnates our energy because wiring means that your energy is not flowing as it should in your meridian system you know in your internal energetic system they are stuck you know the energy is stuck but once 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 you choose to focus on something else more pleasant or to focus on what you have or what you want it's a more pleasant and lighter energy so then you start disentangling and weakening the stuck energy in your system and as a result your nervous system doesn't have to work so hard to maintain you know to maintain your internal energetic system of stuck energy it flows more smoothly it's more it flows smoother and then you feel all right so in a nutshell to simplify this when we worry, when we are focused, when we are experiencing obstacles or challenges, it means two things. The challenges or obstacles or the people that are stressing us make us believe that they are more powerful than we are, that they have power over us. However, when you step back, you will get to realize that because you are the, the perceiver, you have power over the subject that is being perceived. So the tip is to make a choice to choose, you know, what to focus on. If it's a challenge and you know that you can do anything about it or you know what to do about it, then focus on the solutions, on the steps that you have to take towards achieving a better experience rather than focusing on the problems. So the problem does not exist unless you perceive it as a problem. So the choice is yours. You have the power of choice. And that's good news. That's something that I have to remind myself all the time. You can choose to think about what you want or what you have. And that empowers you, that inspires you, that lightens up your energy and helps you feel all right, helps you feel hopeful and more peaceful. So once again, this is Jacinta. It's Inspirational Monday. And I'm here to remind you about the Global Worry Free Day, which is March 1st, 2017. It begins at 7 a.m. in the morning and ends at 7 p.m. It's a 12-hour worry-free fast. It's a global worry-free day. So wherever you are in the world, regardless of your time frame, just use the time to detox of all the worry to refocus and turn your focus on something that you want or something that you can do to make the world a better place or leave the wood pile higher or focus on gratitude or reach out and volunteer this is the day that reminds us that we are powerful and we can choose what to focus on and include in our experiences now in the interim, I'm sending you God's love and light. Thank you for listening.